say, we are the Barabba Public Art Committee. We got together as a group and we were thinking about ways and ideas to help drive tourism and visitors to Barabba. We'd seen a number of very successful silo art murals across Australia and we thought what a fantastic idea that would be uh, if we could also paint the stunning murals that we have that sit on the entrance to Barabba Town. Yeah, Barabba is a, it's a real cute little town. It's a really nice community. It's only about 1,200 people. It's quite dry at the moment, which has been the only distressing thing to see. My name is Fintan McGee. Um, I'm a painter and muralist from, originally from Brisbane, Australia, currently based in Sydney. Yeah. Um, and I just spent kind of three days just meeting people. We, we did a few trips out to farms, photographed and documented working. And through that process, there was a day, on the second day, when we went out to a farm, they were drilling for water. The company that was drilling had a diviner there, and we got, I got talking to them about the divining process and the way that they find groundwater. And kind of watching him work and doing the divining, I thought was fascinating. Something quite primal about it. Yeah, I thought it was fascinating. So I kind of spent a bit of time researching divining, uh, talking to diviners, and that's how we came up with the concept. I work from photographs. I use a grid, grid system to get the proportions right. I just paint it. It's just like a standard, standard uh, outdoor acrylic. We used close to 300 litres of paint. So from start to finish, the painting has taken pretty solid four weeks. One thing I like about working in smaller towns is there is kind of just a sense of pride and ownership over these, these kind of things. If you're working, you know, I work in larger urban centers a lot of the time and, you know, people are kind of in their own world. People are so busy with work and everything, they kind of, sometimes they won't even notice. With the drought and, and the, the landscape being in the condition it is out here, being distressed, uh, the concept of the water diviner just felt pretty timely as well. A big part of this project has been the community support that we've had right from the very beginning when we first started talking about this and it's been really exciting. Everyone's got on board with it, everyone's had opinions, there's been conversations, there's been so much excitement around the project which has been wonderful. We've got really encouraged through the whole process really. They've supported our fundraising events, um, supported us with ideas, contributions, all sorts of things. And we've had some amazing supporters financially, we've had some in-kind support, and we've had lots of great sponsors that have come, not just from our own community, but from people outside of here, which has been fantastic as well.